So this, this would have been back in uh, 1961, I would say, which is when I first met Dylan, uh, uh, just, you know, hanging out in the uh, billet scene. And of course, he was, uh, at that point, uh, the main Woody Guthrie disciple. Right. And uh, at that point, time, Woody was uh, in Brooklyn State uh, Mental Hospital, or whatever the, the name of it was, and, uh, and I had a car. <laughs> so uh, so Dylan came by and said, let's go out to see Woody Guthrie, uh, and we got in the car and we went out there, and it was kind of a depressing place, although not too bad, it was... Uh, uh, but it was a little gray and seedy, and uh, and Woody was was in a, uh, you know a kind of a bad place. The the disease had, Huntington's chorea had uh, advanced to the point where where he really couldn't speak, or at least I certainly didn't understand what he said. But Bobby did, and what was interesting was that Woody would have Bobby sing his songs, Woody's songs, because he couldn't do it himself. And uh, we, we spent quite a bit of time with that, which was interesting. And Bobby brought him a pack of cigarettes. And the first thing he did was to tear open the pack and he went around the, the floor to the other uh, inmates, whatever you want to call them, other patients, and and handed out all the cigarettes, uh, you know. Because and in order to to do that, he had to hold on to the wall, uh, and it was and it's, it it certainly was typical of Woody Guthrie that uh, that he would have done that. Anyway, that's the story.